Assalamu alaikum everyone. Hope you're doing wonderful. Um, I don't know if I should make it in Urdu or in English for now. I will make it in English, but then I'll make one in Urdu. Uh, why do we hate people, religion, ethnicities? Um, and why can't we stand them? Why are we so repelled by some ideas that we can we just have to hate them we just have to say i hate this um i just hate this you know it, so i think this is my understanding and learning and i want to share it with you is that you know we have this antivirus software in our system which is called the ego and the ego's job is to protect us from new ideas new ideologies um, new methods it's uh, this is how I understand what ego is so ego is not there to uh, make us feel uh, just proud but it is also there to stop us from getting new ideas so it's basically trying to protect us from new ways because um, as the the human as the animal part of our body um, is supposed to decay and die in 10, 80 years or so. If we start doing and implementing new ideas at the age of 45 and 50, um, the, we can't live with ourselves because we're always comparing, we're always trying to be better, we always, especially when we're younger, we're so enthusiastic, we want to learn new things. But as we get older, uh, we try to cut down our, um, you know, new new learnings to bare minimum, so that we can actually live and implement what we really want to, what we have learned already. But um, in today's world, uh, we are instantly exposed to different ideas different ideologies through television, books, social media, YouTube, um, and we are confronted with different ideas. And our character, which we have, is created when we are very young. So from anywhere from uh, minus nine months in our body of our mother to the age of, say, 10 maximum, our character is already made. We know certain languages, we have certain beliefs, we have certain, this is good, this is wrong, this is right, this is right, this is wrong. And we are then forced to kind of um, act upon those beliefs. And we are not really encouraged to adopt to new beliefs. So for example, if um, you're born an American, you're born an American. If you start saying you're now a Russian, you will not be appreciated, vice versa. You will not be appreciated if you were a Russian and became an American uh, by the people who are still in Russia because now they are Russians. They're very proud to be Russians. If you were born a Muslim and you want to become a Christian or you're a pre Christian and you want to become a Muslim, you will not be appreciated by your peers and you have to create new friends, new peers with the new ideology or religion or way of everything. Uh, if you're working for one company and then you go and work for another competition company, um, you will not be appreciated by your old friends because they will look at you as a threat, as somebody who's a, who doesn't belong to you, uh, who, who doesn't belong to you anymore and he is now working on the opposition a party. I think this is all because we are raised to be very competitive as human beings. We are just very competitive by nature. If you look at small little children, they're going to constantly fight about small little things, maybe this ball point, maybe small little toy, they will constantly fight. So we have this human instinct of ownership and ownership of our ideas, our beliefs, our things and we try to protect them and the ego is there to protect us uh, from that now uh, there must be some chemical 
um, stuff going on inside our head when we are doing this some psychological stuff going on when we're doing this, when we're trying to hate the others. So hate is the extreme word which is used to define uh, something which you are not like or you don't want to be. But sometimes the teachers say that it is also a reflection of what is inside us. So what we hate is also inside us in some other way. So that is why we can actually see it and we are able to, we, we don't like it anymore. or We don't like it. So um not necessarily um uh, that it's a bad thing um but hate basically hurts us uh it makes us feel bad about something it makes us feel pain uh we hate our enemy so called enemy but if you come to think of everything is a story and it is a story which we have been taught told that this is how things are this is a ball point it is not a pen it's a ball point it's a story and uh, some people get upset or hate grammatical mistakes language mistakes um, uh, pronunciation mistakes accent mix mistakes um, preparation mistakes it's all because we are raised in a certain way and humans are different they're raised in different ways therefore we have different values and somebody the moment somebody is uh, colliding with our value system we hate that how can we how can we deal with this so i personally love the people who hate me because it allows me to see the parts of me which uh, is being provoked by somebody else's words or language or actions <clears throat> and it allows me to observe myself and see what I don't like in myself and in others and try to think about that particular subject and see how can I neutralize that other person or myself that I don't hate that person anymore and he doesn't hate me anymore or he doesn't hate my ideology and I don't hate their ideology. Um, so it's... I like that. I like to keep people who hate me around me because it sometimes the hate makes me angry and I observe my anger and I try to see why am I getting angry? How can I fix myself to not become angry anymore on this topic and have a conversation with that person um, so that I don't have to hate them anymore and they don't have to hate me anymore. So. Um, that's something which I love to do and um, it is part of the philosophy of the Institute of Peace also that we, I want to learn how to observe hatred and I am sure I hate a lot of things and it is something which is pre-programmed in me and I want to identify those things and I want you to think about this this way that if you gather, if you actually can go into a place wh where you hate someone, you hate, for example, a particular animal or your particular way of thinking, and if you can hang around them, you will be able to observe your own emotions and see how you can uh, change your subconscious and... Um, um, what is the other consciousness to observe the hate and convert it into love or just not let the hate affect you so anger is haram in Islam uh, it is like eating pork um, in Judaism and Islam and it is prohibited and uh, a lot of people forget that and they get angry <clears throat> And so I tell the, to those Muslims who get who get angry is that it's as eating pork. So would you like to eat some pork? Uh, they say, no, I don't want to eat pork. But, well, why don't you, why do you get angry in the same way? So that's, these are some thoughts. Uh, and it, they came to me because uh, a friend of mine was t telling that he hates a certain kind of thinking. And um, I hope he sees this. And I hope that we are all able to observe our emotions and not become reactive and uh, become angry 
and a lot of people say that in being emotional is being part of a human being so for them i would suggest to study stoic stoicism uh it's a 2500 year old philosophy and uh i love it because until i discovered this recently i was thinking i was there was some screw loose in my head but now i can see that there are other people who believe that um, being emotional is not a rational thing uh, because emotions are basically chemical reactions in our body released by our brain and our body starts acting in a certain way the moment we get emotional uh, be it love hate or any other kind of emotion uh, so those are some thoughts i i hope you are uh, going to listen to this and uh help me get a little angry if you can or help me become a better person by commenting and guiding on this topic hope you have a wonderful day bye bye